Thanks, Chairperson. I'll be, I'll be very brief. This whole step aside thing isn't unfortunately how democracy works. We had an election as a government. You had your choice, had your chance to be in that. I would love to see your housing solution because it doesn't stack up, and that's what commentator after commentator has costed and analysed. I want to welcome the legislation before us here this evening, uh, Chairperson, the Minister. It's a positive piece of legislation. It protects vulnerable people uh, from November right up to the end of March. And I think it should be subject to review thereafter because what we saw during COVID is uh, those who are less off, those who are penalised paying the highest rents in our country are at the pin of their collar. That they're also at the whim of landlords. Um, and we've seen excellent landlords, but we've also seen the unscrupulous ones. I think this gives protection to people through no fault of their own uh, who are facing eviction or who are about to be evicted. There's a sunset clause, of course, in it. But it does also protect landlords because we've had people from both sides of this argument contact our offices. There are landlords worried who have seen properties trashed or rents not being paid. There are protections in this legislation as well for people like that. But the most important people central to this piece of legislation are those who are vulnerable, those who will struggle to have a roof over their heads and have done so for a long time. But inroads are being made. And just on Monday, we had Minister Dara Bryan in County Clare uh, officially opening 153 new social housing units. Now that's delivering on housing, and there's a lot more to come. And if anyone saw RT News on Monday night, County Clare is one of the counties, and there are several that are ahead of all expectations, ahead of their own uh, aims, ahead of their own thresholds. They will exceed it by 2026. And it's not to put claps on backs, but there's a rhetoric time time again that you know, needs to be challenged. I just want to say as well that uh, in the spirit of this eviction ban, there's another group of people hugely pressed at the moment, those being small business owners, coffee shops, small retail that are facing huge uh, electricity and heating bills and overheads. And I argued earlier in the chamber here this afternoon that just like we're bringing this legislation here tonight to protect tenants, we should also put a moratorium, defer the revaluation of commercial rates for these small businesses. It is devastating for some of them in the past week in County Clare who faced 33% uh, in their commercial rates hike. That on top of electricity, gas bills, etc, etc. Budget 2023 did an awful lot to support those people, but it will be taken on the other hand if we allow these increased rates to go ahead. So it's the same spirit, it's helping people over these difficult few months. We were able to defer commercial rate hikes uh, during COVID. The same should happen now as we face this new crisis, um, the cost of living crisis. A lot of small businesses are now facing an existential crisis of their own, and I think the sensible, prudent thing here would be to defer it. Counties are grouped, bundled together for evaluation pro processes. Clare is in with Galway. Mayo, Donegal, Dunleary, Ratdown. So people in those counties at the moment who have taken the plunge, taken the gamble and the risk, because it is a risk to enter small business, uh, they're now facing these, uh, these revaluation bills have come in 33% up to 40% of a hike on what they face here to four. Valuation doesn't happen every few years. The last valuation in County Clare took place in the year 1862, Minister. So... If we haven't had to tackle it from 1862 to 2022, I think we can kick it a little bit further along the road. Back to the legislation before us tonight. It's positive, it's progressive, it has my full support and backing. And that sunset clause has to exist in things like this, but it should be subject to review. Chairperson, thank you and thank you, Minister.